Roll a haunted house. Okay, to play the roller games, we have several turns. Turn one is the house, two, towers, three, the door, four is drawing windows, turn five is ghosts, and other spooky stuff is roll six. So I'm gonna roll. I've got number two on roll one, so I'm drawing the house shape. I see it's kind of a rectangle. It gets a little narrower at the bottom, but I'm not going to stress over that. So mine's just going to be more of a regular rectangle. Now I'm going to draw the kind of sloped roof. It's got a curve in, curve in, and a horizontal line. Then stacked on top of that is a little rectangle. And then next, a little version of the first slopey roof. All right, that's my house shape. Now the details. I have a tiny window and then the diagonal lines on the roof to draw. My next roll, roll two, is rolling two towers. Okay, I got a four, so I come over to number four. And those look like I can make them as a rectangle. You put one on each side when you do roll two. I could make that taller if I wanted, but I like that height. So there's the basics of it. I can put these little bricks in on the sides. They don't have to be exactly where they are in the picture. All right, that's complete and I'm ready for roll three. Roll three, I rolled a two, so I come over to my door. I get to draw this one with a curved line. It's got some fancy hinges on it, or locks, or I have no idea. Those. And then it's made out of wood. Next roll, roll number four, it says to draw windows. Um, I'm doing four windows. I think you can draw however many you want. All right, guys. I think we're ready for spooky time. That would be roll five, a ghost. I got ghost number six. All right, that's that one. I make the head. I make the hands. And then... I make kind of a wiggly line. Don't get too worked up about making these look exactly like the picture. Just make a spooky ghost. Okay, so next, my last roll. You'll never see what it was. Oh, it was a four. I get to draw the black cat. All right, let's make this in proportion to my haunted mansion here. It's gonna be small. Easy peasy, draw an arch line, curly tail a U-shaped head, and we're done. After you finish with all six rolls, you can add some things in on your own that you would like to put in your picture. Make sure everything you add to your haunted house is school appropriate. You know what that means. I wanna fill the space up here with a moon. I've got some kind of decoration on the house and I'll add a few things to the front yard and the side yard. After that, I will neatly color it in crayon. I hope you enjoy making your spooktacular haunted house.